Kate came by. Thickskin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spit fire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. No big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. I can give no order, but you return from the hunt and countermand it. Lo, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great saviour. Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And they had died. Your lost pains is. But a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. 
I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it? No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Kate seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. It makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the Banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. I'll hunt your beasts. <clears throat> Whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. <sighs> Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first. And so will she. This should be good. Killing the beast helps everyone. Your sister only means to protect you. She traps me. I cannot leave camp unarmed, and she knows it. She wants me to give up my freedom and hand it to you. Not a chance. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. You and your sister don't much like each other, do you? No, we love each other. And everyone here owes her their lives. But... Uh, thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'm just going out to hunt a wolf, a bear, maybe. You'll prove your worth another time. Thick skin wishes the beast a wolf or bear. Wishing shall not make it true. <sighs> Without a musket, you'll die. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. You don't look sorry. Take the gun, Banisher. Take it and get lost. <sighs> I 
I'd be glad to help. But after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco and wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the Utopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? No, oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking. And I don't want one, neither. I have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! What's new? What do you have in mind? Tell me more about Thick Skin Newsmith. I followed her out here because she knows the woods and knows her business. She brought them kids out safe. Why not us two? I know we're only here till we can move on, but I wish she'd bloody hurry up. Because in all honesty, this place is a mud hole. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. My tongue flaps when I'm hungry. What can you tell me about Kate Newsmith? Like her sister, she has a strong character. Unlike her sister, she listens. But right now, we don't need a listening ear. We need food. We need protection. And for that, we need thick skin Newsmith. Tell me about the feeling in the camp. We're weary, sir. Weary and afeard. Hungry, weary and afeard. Which will get us first, the hunger or the beast? Only the Lord can save us now. Perhaps, good sir. That is why you're here. I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. Flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt.
Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McCraith. Good day to you. And what can I do for you, sir? What's the good word round here? Or the bad, for that matter. What would you like to know? What are your thoughts on thick-skinned Newsmith? She leads us well enough, but she should listen to her sister. She's headstrong. It's not good for folk. There's a beast in the woods. People are afraid. I'm afraid. We need protection. What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? You know something? When I was a boy, my parents fought all the damn time. Couldn't wait to get away from them. Kate and the thick skin remind me of my parents. I can't wait to get away from them. But there's a beast in the woods, isn't there?
I'll take my leave. Farewell, Banisher. Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Wherever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad, but as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you? Did you carry them on your back? With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travelers as porters. You paid people to carry your goods? Uh, my fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry them. Well, I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for... this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. I'll bid you good day.
Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye. Only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye. We're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories. Likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. I was wondering, what brought you to the new world? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? I take it you have questions. Ask them. How are things going around here? You've got eyes, haven't you? Things are going to shite, and we're stuck in it. Even the dirt has given up. Look at it. Not a seed will sprout. But we won't give up. We'll work the soil till it gives or we'll die trying. Satisfy my curiosity, if you would. What think you of Kate Newsmith? It's all show, isn't it? Her sister is the one with the real power. Kate's just a stripling beside her. Now, I suppose she means well, but hell is filled with them as meant well, so take no comfort from it. What can you tell me about thick-skinned Newsmith? I can tell you I followed her here, and I'd follow her further. Without thick skin, we'd all be dead in a day. With her, we're the hunters. Without her, we're the prey. Mind you, I wish she'd hurry up and figure us a way out of the shite we're in, because it ain't comfortable. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. The more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it her kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Life can be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty. Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. May I pass? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. Thick skin has a lofty reputation. Is it earned? Earned. Without thick skin, we'd be starved and dead. Even her sister knows it, and they hate each other. Do you know Kate well? Well, no one knows Kate Newsmith well. An old heartache sees to that. If your first love ends bad, they say, your heart never mends. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky.
If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel.